Hi guys, it's Ben here. I hope you're doing very well indeed. It's preview time for Liverpool versus Manchester City. It's the second leg, of course, of the Champions League quarter final. We have a 3 0 lead, as you all know. So, off the back of that, and off the back of Mohamed Salah being fit again, I am very, very confident going into this tie. I know I shouldn't be overconfident, and you'll be warning me in the comments about that very thing, but. Having seen us play, having seen City capitulate A at Anfield in the first half and then B in the derby against Manchester United on Saturday, I have every reason to think that we are going to be absolutely fine. It's not going to be easy and I think City may well score one or two uh, with no reply. But um, we are sensible, we are very, very strong um, and with Mohamed Salah back, with Robertson back, uh, you know, why, why would we not believe we can just go there and score? Just as long as we score a goal. I think we're absolutely fine. Keep, keep our heads, you know, we've got Virgil van Dijk at the back there, he's been absolutely colossal in the last few weeks and months. And people will say the tie isn't over, and it's not, and we still need to take the game very seriously, it still, it still deserves a big build-up, it still deserves every, every percentage of effort that we're going to put into it. it, still deserves to put our absolute strongest lineup, and probably going to need an absolutely sensational performance, because if they are perfect Man City, which Guardiola suggested, they could well um, put three or four past us and make it very, very interesting. Um, and maybe swing the pendulum their way, but we are huge favourites here. We're eight to one on with the bookies to qualify, and rightly so. Uh, it's the last of a stretch of big games. The City home, well, the Palace away. It started with really the Palace away, City home, Everton away, uh, and now this. And we're unbeaten in all those games. We only conceded one goal. Um, and you know, if you were to win two and draw one of those. Uh, you'd have very much taken it, especially if one of those wins was against City and especially with that margin being by three goals to nil. Top four is done. Top four is absolutely boxed off. Um, so this is the last big game of the season before the semi-final, should we reach it? Um, you know, Chelsea drawing home to West Ham pretty much confirmed that they're out of it. Yes, we want to still finish high as we can, but Chelsea are done as far as I'm concerned. It's ten points. Um, so that's out of the question and it's just focusing on... The big one against Man City. Um, starting 11, uh, Luis Carrius, who, as I tweeted recently, is really, really in my good books now. I've um, got every faith that he can you know, pull off a big save if he needs to tomorrow night. Uh, Trent Alexander Arnold played really well in the first leg. No brainer to start again here. Uh, Van Dijk and Lover have to play at centre back. Uh, Robertson will return at left back. Um, Gigi Van Alden played really, really well in the number six position um, against Everton really 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 well so you know it's going to be a huge huge task in the biggest game of his Liverpool career I'd say um, on on, uh, on Tuesday night but I have every faith that he can um, he can keep his he can keep his cool uh, his, his body strength his, the use of his body um, his tenacity was just terrific at Goodison Park thought he was our best player so yeah be nice to replicate that uh, Oxlade Chamberlain Wow, what a what a, what a goal against City at Anfield. Um, that's two and that's two and two at Anfield against City for him in a Liverpool shirt. Get him on the pitch again here with James Milner, who again is in really good form. Was hooked quite early against Everton uh, with this game in mind, and of course the front three, which between them are gonna score a goal tomorrow night. I'm sure is Mane, Salah, and Firmino. I may sound overconfident, and you know I'm a man that predicted us to win at Man City or get a result at Man City. Uh, in the league game, we lost 5 0. Free game, poor performance. But this is different. This is the biggest. I mean, if we get through this, <sighs> I've really got some decisions to make in terms of booking flights to Kiev and putting bets on us to win the semi final, to fund Kiev. And, you know, um, yeah, it's exciting. It's the most excited you could possibly be about, about being a Liverpool fan in about a decade. You know, we had the Europa League final, which was brilliant. Um, we nearly won the league in 13 14, which. You know, probably does topple this slightly at this point. If we, but if we do reach Kiev, that will change because I mean, this it would be so out of nowhere for us to win the Champions League in our first proper season back. I know we're in it in fourteen fifteen, but this is our proper season back where we know we got a squad capable of of doing something. To go on to the final would be remarkable. But let's get City out of the way first, and it, you know it's amazing to even say that. Uh, and then it's semi-final draw time after that. But yeah, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. I know, I know I've been a bit guilty of that all season long in the Champions League, really. Um, after the Porto 5-0, I think understandably. Uh, and, and then now after City 3-0 at home, it just doesn't get much better than that. And they're going to be up for it, of course, because their season, you know, they, they're they going to be angry as well after that United defeat. Um, but 
and they go to Spurs on on the weekend and they can't win the league there so all of their minds will be on this no matter what and they're among the best teams in Europe if not the best team in Europe so you know we've got to be on our game but um, as you can probably tell I'm very confident I'm very excited I'll be at the ground tomorrow I'll be in the away end um, cheering the boys on and hopefully celebrating a goal or two that sends us to Munich, Madrid or Barcelona um, and if we're in the last four of those three teams then we're, we're officially the best of the rest and we're still very much up on the chance of winning the whole tournament all of this is just great all of this is just feels great to say my score prediction for City away is a 2-1 defeat uh, I think they'll go ahead I think they'll maybe go two ahead at half time I think we'll all start to panic a bit and then I think second half their onslaught will come and Mohamed Salah will punish down the other end. We'll go mental and we'll start singing, we shall not be moved, we shall not be moved. Like a team that's going to win European Cup, again, we shall not be moved. <laughs>